how to overhead squat in two minutes or less. This is Blake with Kaizen Training and Nutrition.com and in this video we're going to be breaking down the overhead squat. This isn't something I program as often for my athletes, but if you're someone who's interested in Olympic lifting, this is a really good and important variation to dial in and perfect your technique. It's very demanding in terms of mobility, and so if you can overhead squat, you can probably do every other variation of the squat with relative ease in terms of the mobility demands. Same three key principles as any other squat, as well as a couple other things to cover here. First, we want to maintain a tripod foot, basically meaning we want to maintain balance over our midfoot. I don't want you to drift forward onto your toes or back onto your heels at your knee. I don't want you to have any knee valgus, meaning as you squat down or up, I don't want your knee to come in across your body. That's a major mechanism for injury. And three, we want to maintain a neutral lumbar spine, meaning I want you to squeeze your butt, squeeze your gut, brace your core, and your back should stay flat throughout the movement. With the overhead squat, we need a little bit more upright torso angle in order to prevent us from tipping forward and putting too much strain on our low back or our shoulder, meaning you need more forward knee travel. Forward knee travel is not a problem, provided you can maintain a stable foot, which you're squatting off of. If you start to drift forward on your toes, you're gonna put excessive strain on your knees and that's unnecessary. With the high overhead squat, you can take a narrower grip to really work on your squat demands, or if you're someone who's Olympic lifting, you might take a wider grip, much like the snatch. I'm gonna do a more moderate grip here. As I go to overhead squat, you kind of just want to dip your hips and push the bar overhead. You want your arms totally locked out. I don't want your arms bent. As you squat, same thing. Brace with your foot, squeeze your butt, squeeze your gut. Now as I descend, I need to maintain the bar right over my hip and shoulder girdle. If your torso comes too far forward, you're gonna put excessive demand on your shoulders, potentially leading to strain or just missing the squat. I would recommend, especially early on in your journey, doing things like the goblet squat and the zombie squat to maintain and build competency squatting before you try a more difficult variation like this. Master the movement and don't try and overload weight. If you're trying to take your training nutrition to the next level, check out our coaching in the link below at kaizentrainingandnutrition.com.